just heard a song. It's called Jordan with the Books by Uncle Answer. Shout out to Uncle there. Uh, Jordan and in, in, in the essence of Michael Jordan, right? So I got a basketball story for you guys. Um, so there's a gentleman named Spencer Haywood. And he was an incredible basketball player back in the 70s. And early in his career, he was approached by an, a relatively small athletic footwear company. And they said, hey, Spencer, we want you to wear our shoes while you play basketball. And we're going to pay you for that. And they gave him two options. They said, Spencer, you can take $100,000 or we'll pay you an equity. We'll give you 10% share of ownership in our company to wear these shoes and play ball. Spencer thought about it and he picked the hundred thousand dollars. And I'm sure that he thought that uh, he was making a good decision. He was very happy because that's over like five, six hundred thousand dollars in today's money. But um, I'm, I can almost guarantee you that Spencer loses sleep every single night today because that little company ended up being a, a company we all now know is Nike. And I haven't looked at it, you know, today. But uh, last I checked, that ten percent equity would would have been worth over sixteen or seventeen billion dollars with a B. So why do I tell you that story <clears throat> as, we're, as we're starting off here today? Well, there is nothing more expensive than a closed mind. There's nothing more expensive than missed opportunity. And we have something very special here um, because we all got into real estate for a reason, right? We're all, we're all here in this business because we had a vision. We have a journey that we're on to go somewhere to create something for our lives through this great thing called real estate. And we all went out and we got a license and we spent the time and the sacrifice to go get that license that comes with zero guarantees. And what did we have as a plan? We had one lane. We had one road we were going to go down on this journey, helping people buy and sell real estate. And, you know, there's, there's great opportunity, be, opportunity that can be created by helping your clients buy and sell real estate. But there's a whole lot more that exists <clears throat> as far as opportunity goes in, in real estate today. And, and what I would beg you to remember is when you got that real estate license, you did not just become, you know, <clears throat> a self-employed. You did not just get a new job you became a small business owner. You were launching a business, okay? So you have to put yourself in the mindset of a business owner. Think logically and rationally. Putting that business in the best vehicle on the, on the highway, on the lanes that you have to drive down to get to where you're going. Um, so as a business owner, what do you need to do? You need to be paying attention to what's going on in the world, right? Not just your industry, but industries across you know, different verticals. Because over time, Technology is driving evolution in this world from the will to the internet to the light bulb, you know, all, all these different things. Well, you see a company, a couple companies on your screen, Blockbuster, Circuit City, but there's plenty more, you know, Rite Aid, JCPenney's, Sears, all these companies that were billion dollar companies, very successful at some point in time that are no longer around. Why is that the case? Why do companies like Netflix, Amazon, Uber, Airbnb, Apple, why are they stepping in and taking taking this market share? Well, it's because they decided, these companies that came in and, and are taking the market, they decided to do two things, to innovate, to leverage technology and innovate. And that allows them to provide a higher level standard and product and service to their clients, to their consumers. And that's why they got that market share. These companies like Blockbuster, Circuit City, that failed to make that pivot, that failed to, to take advantage of, of, the, of those opportunities, those, that's why they're no longer around. And, and don't feel bad for them. I mean, Netflix actually approached Blockbuster back in the day and said, hey, buy us for $50 million. That would have been a heck of a deal if you go look at Netflix's market valuation today. But just remember this, EXP Realty is doing the exact same thing in the real estate space today. And who is the client of the, of the brokerage in our world? That is us. That is me and you. The agents are the client of the brokerage. Their purpose is to serve us so we can go out and better serve you know, our buyers and our sellers as well. So how do we come around? Well, there's a, there's a gentleman named Glenn Sanford who saw that, hey, technology was driving the change. And he was actually a big part of AOL back in the 90s. He was uh, with another big red firm, <laughs> right-hand man to a guy, uh, and built out a huge expansion model there, over $60 million in production, leveraging internet, re leveraging technology before Facebook, before, you know, before MySpace. He was doing it online when, when nobody else had cracked the code. It was not like what we're doing today in our real estate businesses. And he had a vision as he was building out this team and building out his expansion model to be able to make a business that is more scalable, that is more sustainable, and would provide more opportunity to real estate agents at the end of the day, because we're the ones out there, boots on the ground, making the biggest sacrifice, driving revenue to the company and losing so much of it to 
you know, a, a handful of people kind of building the lifestyle, building the dreams of someone else, right? The franchise owner, the market center investor, whoever that may be. So in 2009, he founded this, this cloud-based real estate company called EXP Realty. And, and look at this timeline. I'm going to point out a couple of things. First, in 2010, within one year of launching, not just a brand new business, but a completely different business model in this, in this industry of real estate, EXP Realty was open and, and operating in 11 different states. That is a huge testament to the scalability of this model, the ability to be able to close deals, transactions, to collaborate across borders, to break down what used to be borders, right? And then a big one here I want to point out too is in 2013, EXP World Holdings became a publicly traded company, right? That's on the stock market. And then in 2018, we were actually uplisted to the NASDAQ, one of the largest exchanges in the world. Uh, we're also part of the Russell 2000 as well, if you know what that is. But why is this important? Because Glenn had a vision to create a model, again, that puts the real estate agent at the top. Well, if you're going to do that, you've got to make them owners. So in 2015, eXp Realty launched the agent equity program, the Icon Agent Award. Our entire business model is built around creating ownership for agents and giving them the upside. And, and what we're creating here, not just in our own personal production, but together as a whole in this company. So what's been the results of that? Well, it's been nothing short of explosive growth. And I'm going to show you some, you know, quantity here. And we always got to update these slides. So no, no harm to, to Nakia or Tom here, but we're over, I think last I heard 43,000 agents worldwide. That is incredible. No, no real estate brokerage in North America has ever grown at this pace. We're also operating in nine other countries right now. We've got more that are opening up every single quarter. The growth is not slowing down. It's expanding and speeding up. And the quality of the people that are coming over here, the caliber of the business owners uh, in this business that are, that are aligning with us is really what makes this even more special than the numbers that you see on your screen. And as we continue to expand, as we continue to grow globally um, and, and uh, domestically here in the U.S. as well, too, and in, in Canada, our friends to the north, <clears throat> In Mexico, our friends to the south, like we're we're opening up opportunities because we're creating an amazing level of collaboration that happens in this company that you just do not see when you're inside of four walls of a local real estate office, right? The competition, you guys are all going after the same agents and or the same agents, you should all going after the same clients. You know, all the agents are in competition with each other in those four walls. Who you can learn from, who you can be in the room with and, and have level you up and really brainstorm and, and, and move forward in your business and grow and, and personally develop that is limited to the the resources that you have within those four walls well here with our company it breaks it down and as we continue to expand so does the the horizon with the, all of those opportunities so what did glenn see well he saw that there were two main problems with essentially the franchise model which real estate has you know all, all mostly all of the uh real estate firms have operated on um so what was the problem well number one that that business model has too much overhead and it is it is great when, you know, it works great when markets are great, but when markets shift, there's a problem with that overhead, the capital expen expenditure that happens there. And then number two, that the agents, you know, me and you, the people that are out there making that sacrifice, you know, they're the ones getting stepped on. They're the ones being forgotten. And he said, you know, everybody needs to run out right now and buy those people a drink, but he did one better. He actually came up with a solution that solved both of these problems. And that was removing the number one piece of overhead, the biggest expenditure, if you're looking at what, what the overhead and running a real estate business today looks like. And that is the brick and mortar aspect you know, the physical office, you've got to pay for the lease or the, or you got to pay the, you know, the mortgage, if you actually own the building, you've got to put the lights on, you got to get the brokers, the compliance officers, the support staff, the coffee, the Wi-Fi, the printers, you know, all these different things that are going to add up and add up and add up all the tools you got to provide to every single agent within that office. So, you know, you've, you've got the ability to pull that out of there and save a lot of money for a company. Well, what did Glenn decide to do with this, with this dollar? It wasn't stick it in his own pocket or stick it into the pockets of executives. No, it was to allow the company to give that much more back to the agents in the form of live training. You see 50 hours here, we're at like 60, 70, 80, plus hours a week of live training taught every single week by the best agents in our company across the globe and real-time support. So you can get, you know, help from a laundry list of, of corporate departments and local, you know, broker support, no matter where you are, you can do it from your couch and PJs. As long as you got internet access, you're getting help within minutes instead of getting in the car, driving to an office, hoping the person that you need to speak with is there or isn't tied up in another meeting, saving you time. The international collaboration, which I'm, I'm going to keep pounding on collaboration on this call because I, I, it's an 
amazing family we have here. People like Nikia, people like Tom, people like Tyler that you see on the call that are always helping people grow. People like Rich, who uh, you know we, we wish he was here today. Now, the last one is the powerful equity opportunities, the revenue share and the stock programs, right? So making agents owners, giving them upside and all of the all of the growth and the, and the work that we're putting in together in this company, but then also revenue share, which is, we'll get into this, but we have a corporate objective here at eXp Realty to take 50%, literally half of the gross revenue coming into the company before any expenses are paid and share that back with the agents who are helping this company grow and get to where we are today. Um, so when you're talking about this three lane highway, right? We said lane one is selling real estate. Well, that's what we're good at, right? So eXp Realty did a really great job of providing us the tools to be able to do this more efficiently, to close the same amount of deals in less time, the ability to add more production without adding more stress and to make us really at the top of our game. So what, what's the biggest thing here for a lot of people? It's, it's training, right? And to be able to get in and learn from some of the top agents around the world, the people that you used to look up to but hey, they were in, a, in another state, they were in another market, maybe they were in your city and just in another market center, right? The people that you wanted to learn from people that you wanted to collaborate with, by breaking down these walls, we're able to do it. So we have literally, like I said, the, the best agents in our company, the top 2% of agents that are always pouring in training every single week. And then you've got, you know, obviously training for all the tools and things that we have here too, from, um, you know, and we'll, we'll get into some of these tools, I'm get, kind of getting ahead of myself. So what does this exp world look like? Well, eXp World is kind of like a college campus to me. So when you log onto your computer, you're going to have an entire campus with different buildings that you can navigate through. And you see, you know, people on here, avatars, as you might call them. Well, all of these people that you see in the eXp World, all these other avatars, they are live people sitting behind their computer, right? So you're interacting with live people every single day. And you can get into the main auditorium and get into some of these trainings that we're talking about. You can get into broker support. You can go to the accounting department. You can go to tech support if you're having trouble with your computer or some of the software, you can get help from a laundry list of corporate departments. And there are over 600 full-time staff members that are helping to support all of our agents. So uh, when, when you need help, again, it's literally happening in minutes. And not only do you have all these people ready to help you right away, but the window of time that you can go in for that help is expanded here as well. We're open 11 hours a day with that corporate support. You also have state broker offices for every single state. So you're going to know what's going on locally. You're managing brokers, compliance officers, payment process everybody's got their own place to be able to work and a place for you to be able to visit them and get the support that you need a lot quicker. And when you're saving that time, what can you do with it? Can you pour it back into your business? Can you pour it back into your family? Can you pour it back into yourself? Because time is absolutely something that we just, we can't go out and, and purchase more of, right? So Let's talk about some more of these tools. EXP Enterprise. As a business owner, you are the captain of your ship. You've got to have visibility into what's going on, not just above deck, but below deck too. So EXP Enterprise is exactly what gives us that visibility and that transparency. It's what allows us to see everything that's going on in our business all in one place. Have quick links from all the information coming out from corporate. Have quick link to the training calendar so we always know what's coming up on the buffet, <clears throat> as I like to call it. You have the ability to, to get to you know where your commissions are at. What transactions have you closed? Where is your cap status? What fees have you paid to the company? What have you received in some of these equity awards? You know how many shares have you been awarded here since you've been at our company? Um, you know revenue share. What are you getting paid if you're if you're receiving revenue share next month? And what is your team supporting? So again, all in one place, you've got the ability to see what's going on. Sky Slope. Everybody loves paperwork. I see some cameras on. Give me a, give me a hand if you love paperwork, right? And that's why you're in real estate. I don't think any, many hands are going to come up right now. Sky Slope makes this so much easier, right? It is our paperless transaction management system. So yes, you have all of your forms and, uh, you know, a way to send them out electronically to get the you know, signatures from your clients or other sides of the transaction, whatever you need to do. But you also have a checklist for every single type of transaction that you're going to do. So you're never guessing. So for a new agent, it's excellent. But for, you know, even experienced agents, it's great to just have something there to keep us on track, keep us focused, make sure we have everything in line. And we're going to have a seamless closing for our clients. And as you're uploading things to that checklist, you're going to get a check checkbox from the brokers, from the compliance officers that are reviewing this, making sure that everything is clean and saying, hey, you're good to go. Or they're going to write you a little note and say, hey, Karen, you missed an initial here. Hey, Bob, could you please add you know, this form or this addendum in um, and make sure we're, we're good to go here? 
So it just saves you again, so much time, makes it so much easier um, as far as the paperwork goes. Workplace by Facebook, I, I'm not gonna lie, hands down, this is my favorite tool. I think it's the most powerful thing that we are provided here at eXp Realty. And I see Nakia nodding her head. Um, it, you know, it's it's our official communication platform. So a lot of people know what Facebook is. Not a lot of people know, know what Workplace is. Think about the Facebook platform you know and just close it off to the general public. And it's only open to the people that operate within a company. That's what Workplace is. And we have have everything, again, coming out from corporate, the announcements, they're all right there on the newsfeed, but you have all sorts of groups that you can get into from EXP Family Tree uh, to the, the water cooler chat, to your local state groups, to groups on for sale by owner scripts, to groups on listing presentations, groups for commercial real estate, groups for new, con I mean, everything you can think of pretty much has a group already. And if not, you can be a leader and create a group yourself. Um, some of my favorite, and I'm going to give you guys a nugget. Rich, Rich, uh, Rich was uh, nice enough to let me come on here and share this with you guys today um, while he's out of town. So I'm going to give you a little gold nugget as a thank you. The referral groups that are on here are out of this world. 40, 50 plus referrals every single day and growing every single day coming through here. So if you're on top of it, you can receive inbound business from your market from another local e e e or another not local, but another EXP agent who has a referral for your local market. You can also send out outbound referrals and keep them within the company, which, hey, guess what? As a shareholder, as an owner in the company, that benefits everybody. So again, I, I could sit here and talk a long time on Workplace. We'll keep moving, but this is an extremely, extremely powerful tool where we're able to collaborate, connect with anybody in the company all in one place. Your CRM, this is another tool that in 2021 as a business owner, you've got to have working at the top of its game. And if you have something like what we're provided here, and this is called KV Core, right? So KV Core takes that to another level. This is a smart CRM. And not just a CRM, but it's tied to your website and all of your lead generation efforts. So it's taking your database, it's keeping it organized for you, great, but it's also adding in your own little assistant in the form of AI, <clears throat> artificial intelligence that's going to email, to text, to stay you know, in communication and top of mind with your database. It's again tied to your consumer facing KV Core website, which is professional, it's sleek, it's tied to your MLS so people can search for property on there and you can see exactly what's going on, what properties they're looking at, when they looked at them, what type of device they were on when they looked at them. You always know what's going on and it's also tied to any advertising or lead generation efforts that you do. This is a very powerful software. I'm ex very much scraping the surface on this, but within seconds, you can have KV Core design a variety of links or text codes, you know, all sorts of things that you can just simply attach to any advertisements that you were going to put out anyways. But now with this, with this added feature, you know, when people are engaging with it, right? So instead of having a property flyer box, you know, at, at your listing, now you've got a text code on a rider on your sign. And when somebody drives by, they're not pulling a piece of paper out that you never know they were there and took. Now you're getting their phone number. Now you can re-engage and reverse prospect that person. I talk about this in listing appointments with my sellers and they absolutely love it. So again, this is an extremely powerful tool. If you're using it one, two hours a day consistently, it's minimum worth five, 10 deals a year for you. And I can tell you that with confidence because I've seen it happen. And I know that this company, if you were to go out and buy this, because this is not EXP software, you can get this no matter where you're operating your, your brokerage business at. <clears throat> it's going to cost you about five, $6,000 a year last time I looked. Well, that, that's not a cheap amount of money, but guess what? It has a return if you're using it because of the, of the power that it has there. And marketing here, this may be the biggest one that we're going to talk about all day, right? Every business has to have excellent marketing. So I'm going to ask you guys, how much at your current firm, in your current situation, how much are you being compensated to hand out a business card, to put a sign in the yard with your brokerage's logo on it, and to advertise and build that brand for them? Because I ask agents that all the time and they say zero. And I say, well, yeah, but isn't it worse? Because you're paying to be at that brokerage and you're advertising for them. And what other industry do you ever see that happen? It's, it, it's kind of crazy to think about, right? Well, here at eXp Realty, not only do we have the ability to be compensated through, own, as, you know, through shares and ownership in the company, through revenue share as well, for building the brand, for advertising you know, eXp Realty's brand, but you have the ability to personally brand. So you can see my, mine here in the background of my Zoom call, it's LK in Estates. Lake Norman is what that stands for, brokered by eXp Realty. It's my own brand. It's my own colors. It's my own logo, brokered by eXp Realty. And you are welcome to do that as well too, as long as you 
you're abiding by your state guidelines and laws and regulations, eXp wants you to be an entrepreneur. They want you to build a brand that's going to not just resonate with somebody for your next deal, but resonate with your entire market, or at least the market that you're targeting and build longevity in your business. We also have over a hundred pieces of material right in our marketing center that are pre-designed, ready to fill in the blank with your contact information, your name, and you're ready to go instead of spending hours designing this stuff yourself or, you know, paying somebody to do it. And you see business cards, brochures, signs on the screen, but I'm telling you, there's over a hundred pieces of, of very professional marketing material in our EXP center, always adding to that as well too. <clears throat> Big one here is healthcare. I tell people right behind saving money, doing taxes, having good health insurance are the three things that agents just absolutely suck at. I'm sorry. Um, but here at eXp Realty, we have the partnership that provides affordable health care to realtors here <clears throat> that are working with eXp Realty. Here, let me get a drink real quick. Sorry. We have a partnership that, that allows families to, to be able to afford this, right? Because it's 1099 contractors. It's just tough to go out there and get that. And I hear stories all the time, families that are saving 500, 1,000, I've heard up to $1,500 a month versus the coverage that they had. And they're getting the same or better coverage, just a heck of a lot less money outflowing because of the way that that is structured as well too. So definitely reach out to the person who invited you to this call, ask them about that, ask them for a guest pass into eXp world, ask them some tough questions. I know we'll have some, some time for questions and answers here at the end too, but guys, if you're paying attention you see, you see the vision here that Glenn Sanford had. You see the business model and how different this is than anything that's existed. You see the tools that were given to not just you know close more real estate with the same amount of time, but to close you know more real estate and build a business that's going to last, right? To collaborate with people, to level up in ways that you could never level up before, to get ownership and and, and some different things in this company. But now all the all we have to look at are the numbers. So I'm blown away. And if you see on the left at the very bottom, I'm blown away by this. You can start this opportunity for your business for $149. So what does that cover? That covers your onboarding, all of your affiliation. That covers your first month here at the brokerage as well too, because you'll see the $85 a month fee. That's your first month is included in that $149. That gets you 1,000 custom business cards. It gets you some presentation folders, access to everything, and you are off and running. And then $85 a month is the only fee that you're going to pay to be here at eXp Realty. There are no other hidden fees. There's no desk fees. There's nothing that they're going to charge you extra for KV Core, a five six thousand dollar program. No, everything we talked about today and so much more is all included in that eighty five dollars a month. The only other fees you're going to have are when you actually close a deal. So when you get to the closing table and this comes out of your check, it's not like you're writing a check to them. Right? It's just coming out of your GCI. You're going to have a twenty five dollar broker review fee. It's for them to look over your paperwork and, and allow you to sleep good at night. And then your $40 E&O insurance, your risk management fee is what we call it here. And that's $40 per transaction, but that actually caps out at $500. A lot of firms will actually make this a profit center. Here at eXp Realty, you will never pay more than $500 in a year for E&O. And you, you, don't, you might not even pay that much because it is a pay-as-you-go kind of plan, right? $40 per deal. Now, on the right, you will see our commission and our compensation structure. And we are an 80 to a 100% plus company. And I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on that plus, and we're going to come back to that. But for the time being, an 80 to a 100% plus company. So when you come here as an agent, everybody's on the same level playing field. There's no special deals, right? We all have the same opportunity here. That ceiling is removed for everyone. And we all started in an 80-20 split. So 80% you would keep, 20% would go to eXp Realty on each transaction. You would continue to pay in that 20% split until it's accumulated and hit $16,000. At that point in time, you will cap out and you will keep 100% of your commission for the remainder of that anniversary year. And that's just based on your join date with the company, not the calendar year, right? So once you've capped, what are you looking at? You're looking at $250 cap transaction fee versus that 20% split. Right now, obviously, you're going to pay your broker review fee and your in your forty dollar E and O, but twenty two hundred fifty dollars per transaction instead of a twenty percent split. Now, hang with me here. If you do twenty more deals in that same anniversary year after capping, that's going to drop again from two fifty down to only seventy five dollars per transaction. You'll also be eligible to become what's called an icon agent. So take a screenshot of this. I don't think Rich would mind. Uh, hopefully, I'm not stepping out of line, Rich. If you if you watch this recording later, <laughs> but take a screenshot of this. Get back to the person who invited you to this call, and I implore you to do the math. It's just math, guys. See how much of a raise you can get here. I sit down with agents all the time, and I haven't seen someone with less than a five-figure raise by just doing it, doing the math and seeing what, what's offered here. The ability to close more real estate deals, to keep more of the money that on the deals you are already closing and allow yourself to move a little bit quicker down that, down that path on the highway, right? Down lane one to what you're building. But Glenn Sanford had something special in mind here. 
He wanted to provide us lanes two, lanes three, other opportunities, ability to earn more than 100%, right? That's where that plus comes into play. The ability to accelerate our path towards financial freedom towards freedom of time, freedom of location, and to be able to build generational wealth, to give that same gift of freedom to the people that we love and care about most when we're no longer here. And that only happens at a beautiful place like eXp Realty. And Mr. Tom Hawker, I'm going to bring you on to, to, to let these guys know what lanes two and three are. Uh, if you could take over the show and, and, and run it from here, brother. Trey, great, man. Thank you very much, guys. How about Trey? Uh, this is a young guy who's very dynamic, an entrepreneur. He came over, he saw an opportunity with EXP. He came on over and now he's just killing it. So uh, it, it's great to have you here, buddy. I, I appreciate you stepping in for Rich today. Of course. Thank you. All right. So, so what did he do? He went over uh, a little of the background of the company, right? He talked about Glenn Sanford, how he was motivated to create the greatest real estate company in history. He talked about our timeline, where we were in 2009 to jumping onto the uh, to get in stock with the company, our Icon Award, and then go into the NASDAQ in 2018. He, he talk, talked about our growth, right? Our, tr our, our slides are already um, out of date because our growth is just off the charts. When I got on here 40 months ago, we had 4,500 people in this company. We were in about, I don't remember exactly what the number was, we're, we're in about 20 different states. We used to rattle off what states we're in. Now, less than 40 months later, actually, we're in every state in the United States, and we're in about 14 different countries. Now, instead of rattling off states, we're rattling off countries that we're in. It's amazing the growth that we have here. He talked about uh, our analogy of a three-lane highway. He talked about lane one, all right? He talked about our high split, our low cap, our ability to icon with this company, which helps you outperform the model and actually work at over 100% commission. He talked about the tools and technology that this company has. So what you gotta do is you gotta reconcile in your own mind. Is this better than what I'm already with? Or is the company that I'm currently with better than EXP? But I will tell you one thing. If you think the company that you're with is better than EXP, you're, thinking long, you're not thinking long-term. You're thinking short-term. You got to plan out the long-term. A lot of people, a lot of people, including Trey and myself, we have pretty short, good short-term games. You know, we're doing good, good sales and we're making money right now. But what is the long-term goal? The long-term goal for us here at EXP is lane two and lane three. And I'm gonna jump into them right now and show you what I mean. So, so with EXP, we're a publicly traded company, all right? The, the, the owners of the company are us. So John F. Kennedy said it best, a rising tide lifts all ships, not just one. What does that mean? That means the better the company does, the better I do, the better you do, the better every, all 43,000 agents at EXP, the better we all are going to do, not just the owner of the company, Keep in mind, guys, until EXP, you were that owner's retirement because he got a override on all your production. So this is how lane two works, our equity opportunities, our stock awards. You want to look it up, the ticker symbol, we're traded on a NASDAQ, the ticker symbol is EXPI. All right. So when you come on over to EXP, there are five ways to achieve stock in this company. The first four are gifted to you, just gifted, given to you. I know a lot of you guys were the, the number one person or in the company that you were previously with or are currently with. And what did you get? Did you ever get anything really good? Most of us get certificates that are not even framed or we get a plaque or a statue or a pat on the back or maybe even dinner if we're lucky. Here we're getting something of value. So when you come on over and you have your first transaction with EXP, EXP is going to recognize that and give you $200 worth of stock. That $200, I'm going to tell you right now, is probably more worth more than any of us, any of us ever got in awards with the previous companies that we've been with. Where are you currently with? When you cap, when a company earns, you're on an 80-20 split when you come on over. When a company earns $16,000 off of you on an 80-20 split, they are going to recognize you as a capper and they're going to give you another $400 worth of stock or $400 worth of stock right there, okay? If you attract an agent, this is completely voluntary, but if you attract an agent or if somebody comes up to you and says, I, I wanna hear a little bit more about eXp and, and they join underneath you and you're their sponsor, when they have their first closing, what are they gonna get? They're gonna have that $200 worth of stock for their first transaction. But because you sponsored them, you're gonna get $400. You're gonna get twice as much as them because you're the one who, who, who brought them over to the company. So look at that. You just got $1,000 worth of stock if you just brought one person over and, and, and you hit these simple milestones and it's gifted to you. Now look, look at the, the fourth way to get gifted stock. It's $16,000 worth of stock when you icon. 
So iconing to the company is a cap, right? The company earned $16,000 off you, and then you do another transa 20 transactions. And that doesn't mean it has to be a sale. It could be a sale, a lease, or, or, or a referral. 20 of those. And that, at that point, you become an icon agent, and the $16,000 that you guys paid in at an 80-20 split to the company, EXP is going to give it back to you in the form of EXPI stock. Wow, look at that. You got your 16,000 you paid in back. You got 400 if you sponsor an agent. You got another 400 if you cap and another 200 on your first transaction. You're just now, you outperform the EXP model. You are over 100% commission with this company. It's amazing. It's amazing that this company thought of this, that Glenn Sanford, the genius came up with this model. All right, but guess what? EXP is not stupid either. They instituted a three-year vesting period. What does that do? Well, I'll tell you what it's going to do. When I first got here, the stock was $2.87 a share. When it hit $7, I was chomping at the bit. I wanted to sell. I couldn't wait to sell and cash out, but I couldn't because all of this had a three-year vesting period. And thank God I didn't, right? Because look at what the stock is now. So, so it's a smart way to keep attrition down and keep people happy and staying with EXP, the attrition, all right? The vesting period. Now, the fifth way to get stock with this company is a buy-in program. It's, it's using your own money on your commissions. And what you do is you can take 5% of every transaction. Now, you can, you can participate in this. You can participate in some of it, or you don't have to do this at all. But you can advise EXP to take 5% of your commission and buy EXPI stock. But different from when you buy it, right, at your TD Ameritrade account or whatever it might be, EXP is going to buy it for you at a 10% discount. So you have 10% equity in that stock as soon as you get it. And guess what? There is no vesting period because this is your money. All right? So, so, so here's what happened. I enrolled in the agent equity program, plus I got the gifted stock. Now, I've never been a huge agent. I do okay, but I'm not the type of agent who's going to icon. I miss out on it every year. So I never got a $16,000 bump. But in my agent equity <clears throat> program, where I paid in 5% of each transaction since the day I got here, plus the gifted stock that I've earned in this company, I got now over 10,400 shares worth of stock with the EXP. Today, it's trading at around $65 a share, whatever the number is. So if you think about it and you multiply 65 by 10,400, you can see how much stock I got in this company just by being smart enough to think long-term and so are the vision that EXP afforded me the opportunity to see. And I would have never had that and none of us would have had that if we didn't come over to EXP. So, so that's why one of the reasons EXP is the fastest growing real estate company in history. That big red company, they took 20 years to get to 10,000 agents. EXP did it in nine and a half. We are the fastest growing company, not only here in the United States, but also in Mexico and the UK. All right. And, and we now have um, one of the greatest guys in the, in the world. Right. He was with Realogy, Michael Valdez. He was in charge of growing Realogy. And, 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 and Realogy is what? Century 21, Better Homes and Gardens, Caldwell Banker, Sotheby's and a couple of other uh, companies under this big umbrella of Realogy. Right. He grew them internationally. He is now with EXP and he is going to help grow EXP internationally. OK, so so that's our lane two. That's our equity opportunities. All right, and, and lane one, all the perks and benefits of the company, you're gonna get no matter what. Lane two, the equity opportunities, the stock, you are gonna get that no matter what. That's just another perk, right? But lane three right here, this is our revenue share. Lane three is the off-ramp to our careers, all right? Everybody who's not with EXP, they're working at whatever, whatever they negotiate with the current owner of their company. Lane two is a nice perk. Lane three is the off-ramp in our career, right? It's the right-hand lane. It's where I can finally get off and say, I have a retirement through monthly passive income. And I'm gonna show you how that works. And it's completely optional. If you don't wanna do it, you don't have to. If you do see an opportunity here, you can. But what I'm gonna tell you is, is realtors, what do we do? We either list ha houses or we work with buyers, right? We have two options. And if we're lucky, one of those buyers or sellers will use this a second time. That's great, but chances are usually they don't. Here, that gives us an option right now to not only work with buyers and sellers, but they give us a third option to list agents, to attract agents to a company. And if you do attract agents, 
you will get paid a referral fee off of all their production as long as they're with the company and anybody else that they bring on, all right? So this is how this works. I come on over. I was fortunate enough to get to get to um, have a cup of coffee with Rich Tomasini in October of 2017. I saw an opportunity here. I liked it. I saw, I recognized that I was the retirement for the company that I was with, the owner of that company. And I wanted the same opportunity that EXP was affording everybody else. So I came on over. And I saw that Rich had some other people come over as well, and he was earning money off of them. And I wanted that too. So what did I do? I went right to work. I'm selling houses, I'm listing houses, I'm working with buyers, but now I incorporated a third um, um, stream here. I started talking with agents. Agents that I've done deals with, agents that I got along with, agents that I knew throughout the country, not only here in Little Mooresville, North Carolina, at Lake Norman, just about 35 minutes north of Charlotte, but agents that I knew throughout the country, because this model is not geographically confined to the town you're in like every other model, right? You can talk to anybody anywhere in the country, and if they come on over to EXP as you, with you as their sponsor, you will get paid off of them, all their production. So I reached out, like I said, to, to the agents that I wanted to work with and I had respect for. Any one of any of them that came over, I started, once they started selling houses, I started earning a 3.5% referral fee off of them, off of their gross commission. Now, remember, when you come over to EXP, everybody comes over, everybody's equal. Everybody comes over at an 80-20 split. Out of the 20%, so let's just use round numbers, okay? Let's say it's a $10,000 commission. The agent gets 8,000, EXP gets 2,000, 80-20 split. Out of EXP's 2,000, they are going to recycle 3.5% or $350 of that gross commission. And they will give that back to me on a 22nd of each month. Now, the agent's paid in full. EXP is just recycling the money that they're getting back to me. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to keep receiving 3.5% of the gross commission off of that agent until I earn $2,800 off them per year. So I'm never going to make more than $2,800 off of anybody I bring over to this company. I'm not going to get rich off of any one person. So what happens is $2,800, once I earn $2,800 off of them, that basically means they just graduated from an 80-20 split and they went to 100% commission. At that point, EXP had no more money to give out. So I bring over, let's say, what Lance Woodley down in Columbia, South Carolina. Lance has a great boutique company, was been business, business for 20 years. He brought his whole company over to EXP because he saw an opportunity, not only for himself, but an opportunity for his agents that he could not afford those agents as a single owner of a company. So he plugged his own business into EXP's tools and technology, and now he's up and running, and I'm getting 3.5% off of all Lance's production, up to $2,800. But I also brought over a bunch of other people. So now this just doesn't happen for one person. It says it happens for as many people that, as I bring over, all right? They're all my, my, my tier one people or my level one people. But now Lance says, hey, Tom, I want to do the same thing. So Lance brings over Sam and Keon and Elizabeth and his whole team, right? And that whole team is, is, is Lance's level one or is tier one, but they're my tier two. So I am going to get paid on them as well. And the same thing keeps happening, except there are two radically different changes. On levels two through level seven, I'm not responsible for tracking those agents. I only track the agents on level one and then my level ones attract two and so on and so forth down. So I don't have to do the work. I'm there to support them, but that's all I have to do. I don't have to create lead generation for anybody. I don't have to create <clears throat> a website or any of that stuff that you need to do. I'm there just to support them. They all plug into EXP's tools. The second uh, change that is radically different is the amount that we get paid out on on each, on each tier. Anybody I bring over personally, I get 3.5% of, of, of their GCI up to $2,800. And that's paid out monthly. All right. Anybody that they bring over, I, I actually make more even though I didn't attract that agent, I make 4% off that person's uh, production up to 3,200 and so on and so forth. Then I get two th up to 2,000, up to 1,200, 800, 2,000 and 4,000. If I can get tier seven, level seven, I can make $4,000 per agent. And, that, and that's just incredible. But so what EXP though saw was, hey, this has to be sustainable. We can't just open it up and let everybody just keep going. So what they did is, to open up each tier or each level here, right? You have to personally introduce a certain amount of people to the company. 
to open up and unlock the money on each level. So here on the right hand side, it shows you to open up the money on level two, anybody that I personally bring over, I'm going to get paid off of them up to $2,800 times whoever many people I bring over. Now, if they're not cappers, okay, they might only be, you know, a, a capper is roughly about $2.7 million in volume. And then after that, they're at 100%. I don't get paid on anything more off of them until their anniversary year rolls back and then it starts over again. But let's say they don't do $2.7 million a year. Let's say they do about 1.4. That's okay. Instead of earning the maximum of $2,800 a year off of them, maybe I'll make $1,400 off of them. I'm okay with that. I really am. So, so to get paid on any level one or tier one from anybody I bring over, that's not a problem. But to unlock the money on level two, I have to personally bring over five people to this company to unlock the level two, to unlock Lance's people, okay? And then to unlock level three, I got to personally bring over 10 and then 15, 20, 25, and 40. Now that's not per year. That's over the course of my career in a lifetime. If I can bring over 40 people to this company, this unlocks that whole algorithm here and the money on every single level. And if I don't, that's okay. I will still, I will get on the left-hand side here where you see the locked expansion share percentage of the AGCI. That's what I'll get. Instead of the 4% on level two, I'll get... 0.2%. So you'll still get a little tiny something, but instead of maybe a couple hundred bucks, you might get $4. So, so that's how this works. We bring people over, we, we attract agents to the fastest growing real estate company in history. And if they like it and they come on over, we get a referral fee off of all of them and everybody that they bring over. And we just have, ha now I'm incentivized to unlock, to bring 40 people over to unlock this whole algorithm, right? But, but here's an example for, again, of me. So what I, I, told, I gave you a little example of my, my equity opportunities, the stock I have been gifted with the company or purchased at a discount. So here's what I've done so far. I brought three, uh, 13 people over to eXp. And if you look on the right-hand side, that does what? That unlocks three levels. But those 13 people have turned around and brought over 63. Those 63 have turned around and bought, brought over 65. Those 65 have brought over about 24. And then another 15 and one, I think. So, so I have people on six levels, but on levels four, five, and six, because I didn't bring over 15 or 20 or 25 people, I'm at 13. I didn't unlock those levels. So all this money I'm basically leaving on a table, I'm only getting a small percentage instead of the, the big percentage. So I am incentivized, like you wouldn't believe, to get to at least 15 to unlock the money on my level four. And then to 20 to unlock the money on five and, and so on. So, so that's how this works. It keeps you incentivized to grow. But if you don't want to do this, you're, you don't have to. This is completely your opportunity to do anything you want. It's, it's, it's if you want to join it, great. If you don't want to do it, that's okay too. But remember one thing. With this opportunity, you are creating a monthly passive income that you will get directly deposited to your account on the 22nd of each month. All right? Opposed to just selling houses. And we all know what selling houses is like. I work with a buyer. I show them a ton of houses. I set up that we finally negotiate a deal on a house. We negotiate the contract. I send out everything. Everything gets signed and dated and initialed, and I send it over. Then I set up the inspections. I, I, I send everything. I speak with the lenders, with the attorneys. I negotiate due diligence repair. I set up the closing. We finally, after 45, 60 days, whatever it is, get it to the closing table. And if it falls apart, I get nothing. I get nothing. Only when it closes at the very last moment do I get paid. I'm being paid in, in, in arrears, right? I got to do all the work up front and get paid at the end. With this model, I am paid for work that I did in the past every month. So I don't have to sit there and do everything and finally get paid if, it, if I'm lucky enough to have this transaction close. I am getting paid monthly on work I did now over three years ago. And I love that. And as Warren Buffett said, I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own. And that couldn't be any truer. It is so much nicer to have a little piece of everybody's pie because if I go away for a little while, I know that my real estate, while it's going to stop, at least my revenue share is going to keep coming in because the whole, all 172 people below me are going to keep selling houses and I'm going to make a little bit of piece of, of the action off of all of them. All right. So, so that is our lane three. And essentially that is our presentation. Um, so, so what I want to do right now, and, and before I forget, remember who invited you on this call, because whoever it was, go back and talk to them, ask them questions. 
I'm here if anybody ever needs anything. Trey's here if anybody needs anything. Nakia is here if anybody needs anything. We can answer hopefully any questions. And if we don't know the answers, we can get them for you, I promise. But I tell you right now, I thank Rich Tomasini every darn day for introducing me to this model 40 months ago because it's changed my life. It's changed a ton of people's lives with this company. And, and we all are seeing something that we never expected uh, you know, three years ago, and it's all coming true, and it's changing a lot of lives. So, um, so Trey and I are going to open it up right now, and we're going to um, ask anybody if they have any questions. Yeah, feel free to unmute or type them in the chat, whatever's easier for you guys. Yeah, Bob, if you got something, I've got up. one. Now, um, uh, Tom mentioned that um, on his, he mentioned in his, his level one, he would need to be creating lead generation for that. Now, this is the first time I've, I've heard about that. I thought about this. I mm -hmm. said, I wonder if I would create leads for my next level, but I never heard anybody talk about that. Now, the, Tom just mentioned that and I said, aha. So somebody has already created that or thought about that. Am I, am I going down the right avenue on this? Because- uh, So, uh, so everybody's gonna get the KB core. Our, our mutual success is, is, is tied together. Absolutely. That's why you're incentivized to help them. Uh, again, I don't have to provide that lead generation or that website or the tools and technology. Everybody's plugging into to EXP's tools and technology. But, but Bob, if you were my level one, my success is, to, is tied to your success. So, so what am I here? I'm here to support you and help you any way you can. Anybody that I bring over to EXP, my first goal is to get them up and running and get a house solved for them. This way they feel pretty good about themselves and they're up and they're hitting the ground, and they're running. But my next, my next goal is to attract an agent for them, all right? If, if they can attract an agent and I can, and, and they, and I can do this presentation for them every Wednesday and, and that agent comes on board and now you have an agent underneath you and you're creating a little bit of a passive income off of, off of that person, think about it. What if you created an extra $500 a month passive income? That is huge. That is huge for a lot of people. Five hundred dollars is the difference between people going bankrupt and people keeping their head, head above water. So, so we are all incentivized, and as I said, a rising tide lifts all boats here at EXP. Not just the owner, because we all are owners. The better everybody else does, the better I do. Right. Thank right. you. Uh, next question, if I can keep going. I learned this morning that to get Icon, you can also do a lease, a referral, or a sale. I didn't know that. And That's right. I was uh, pretty close to coming on board about uh, 15 months ago, and I, I changed my mind. Um, and so I've been researching, but I'm still learning some things. Every time I listen, I'm hearing more and more, or I'm, I'm taking it in. So I, I like that. And the one last thing that I was um, somebody mentioned was, do you get the full KV core or do you get a scaled down version of the KV core that's tr uh, that's uh, can be purchased for the, the 500 a month? Um, I, I think KV core is a great tool, but I was just wondering if it's a scaled down version. Trey, you want to answer that? Yeah, you're, you're, you're getting the full, the full okay. version of that. Um, we, we have 40 plus thousand agents here. So economies of scale allow us to be able to provide it without charging exactly. $6,000 exactly. a year to each, each person. And EXP is the biggest user of KV Core. Uh, you know, everything EXP has for the most part is proprietary. I think the two things that are not proprietary to EXP are the KV Core and the SkySlope, you know, the document management system. But even Verabella, you know, when, when Verabella created this, our cloud office, EXP then bought the company. We bought it for $10 million cash. And, and the problem was Gary Keller from Keller Williams was trying to buy it out from underneath us. But because we had a relationship with Verabella, we were able to purchase it. So now we own that technology, right? And we got a, a, a 12, 13 year head start on everybody else who's trying to catch up. You know, look what Keller Williams is doing. They're changing all their stuff around. They just, Josh Team just, I mean, yeah, Josh Team just left Keller Williams. They just hired a new CEO and all this other stuff. So everybody's scrambling. And when you hear Glenn, Glenn Sanford talk, he's not talking about the Keller Williams, the Caldwell Bankers, the, the, the Century 21s, and all these old antiquated companies. He's looking forward. These, these are Those companies, he knows our model is so far and away ahead of those people that those, he doesn't even look at them as competition anymore. All right. I think the biggest competition is Zillow. You know, Zillow is, is one public statement away from becoming the biggest real estate company in the world. 
So, so, but that's what Glenn Sanford is looking forward at too. Not, not these all antiquated companies that we've always been, been dealing with, right? So, right. Um, uh, this is Don Dixon. Now, Michael Kruger here has a couple of questions that I'd like for you to address. He's Great. asking about, um, about printing, copying, and printing expenses. He's asking about commission checks and being held by attorneys and how EMD is handled. Uh, so, so yeah, we, we do not hold EMD here at eXp Realty, but uh, you can use title attorney to hold those. We also, uh, one of our subsidiaries of eXp World Holdings is Silver Line Title. Um, so you could use them, not required to, but you do have an option that's actually within our umbrella here. Um, as far as commission checks, this is this is one of my favorite ones to answer Me because uh, we have something very special here on how you get paid. I was talking with an agent last week that was you know running down their broker for a check for I think they were up to like eight or nine days since the the, the settlement had, had occurred. It's crazy because here at EXP Realty through Sky Slope. If, if the title company, the attorney is is willing to do it, not every single one of them are. Most of them are. They will actually create a disbursement authorization that goes to that to that attorney title company to have a split check written directly to you. And then, you know, the other split of that check, you know, written to, e written to EXP Realty. So you can actually get paid at the closing table, usually once it records. <clears throat> Um, and then as far as print marketing, uh, that kind of stuff, like I said, we do have over a hundred materials that are already designed for you. So the cost, the biggest cost there, which is actually getting that stuff created is, is handled. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, as far as printing stuff, uh, yeah, that would be yours. We do have some, uh, partnerships with companies like build Assign and some, some different places as well, uh, where you can get discounts on that stuff. But, uh, a, a lot of the things that I send out these days, honestly, um, isn't, isn't even all that much print anymore, right? A lot of it's electronic. So, um, it's, it's not as big of expenses as you may think i see another question here from monica how does your lead generation work and is there a cost for it um so we dived into a couple different things i would say you know the collaboration here workplace the ability to talk to each other agent to agent referrals are, is one of the biggest untapped pieces of our industry in my opinion so we have a way to actually facilitate business from professional to professional here keep it within the company but also with kv core in our marketing center that I just mentioned, you have the ability to put out a lot of a lot of very powerful tools, a lot of very powerful marketing efforts within seconds. And then you have, again, like your own assistant that's helping to manage, follow up with that pipeline, keep it moving and going and, and tracking down the line towards the closing table, or at least until you you know need to step in, start showing houses, that kind of stuff for you too. Um, and that's something that you can use for free. You can always put paid money, you know, spend behind ads that you're putting out, but it's not a requirement. There are plenty of ways to utilize the tools that you have here to lead generate for free as well too. Hey, can I piggyback on something that you mentioned Absolutely. before? The diamond in the rough, the, the workplace referrals. Um, <clears throat> I have a, a, an agent up in Morgantown, West Virginia, who came on. The first year he was with EXP, he was the only agent up in Morgantown, and his business jumped by about $3 million from the previous year. It was the best year he ever had. A lot of that had to do with the referrals that he was getting off the workplace. Alexis Hughes, who may or may not be on his call, I'm not sure, is such a dynamic agent. She's phenomenal. And she's doing a great job, not only with the KV core, and if you ever have any questions, you can reach out to her because she's phenomenal and she knows it inside out, but also with the workplace, with the referrals. Her business is just growing immensely because she's taking advantage of workplace and, and the tools that are given to us through KV core. So, so those are just ways, just different streams that you have with eXp to build your business. And it's all available at your fingertips for nothing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anybody else? We still have 60 people on a call and we're actually ahead of time. We're, we're a little bit early today, so we're, we're doing good. Uh, looks like there's one in the chat from Ashley. Uh, what opportunity, if any, is available for a referral only licensee? You want to take that one, Tom? You can come on over, I believe, as a referral agent. Um, you do have to be licensed. Uh, well, I have to follow up on that, but that's that question's been brought up. I know there were some changes to it, but but my understanding is you can hang your license here as a referral agent and uh, and and just do referrals and not have to worry about you know everything else that comes along with it. Tom, I asked her to talk to Lisa uh, Rapensky directly. That's who invited her to the call. So I'm okay. actually talking to Lisa and um, talking to both of them in the chat, Lisa and Ashley. And I asked Lisa to reach out to Ashley after the call. 
Nikia is always you. on it. Nikia's always got your back. <laughs> um, I and I see Amy, you said I'm a commercial sure. agent. I would love to hear about that platform. I would definitely reach out to the person who invited you here. There is a whole nother, um, you know, meeting kind of presentation that I would recommend that you see because EXP commercial has a completely different structure, but it is incredible. It is changing the, the, the entire commercial space now as well too. So would highly recommend doing that. And, and yeah, we took over James Wong, right? Um, who's one of the biggest commercial guys. And he's now with EXP and running all the commercial stuff. Yeah. And Dean is going to follow up with her and get the commercial explained presentation in her hands as well. I was doing a good job with this chat box today, y'all. Yeah, you were on it. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely get that in Amy's hands. No problem at all. Thanks, Dean. And then do the title companies mail off the commissions up? Oh, where did it go? Do the title companies mail off the commissions and closing docs? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just going to depend on that title company as to, to what they're actually handling and stuff like that. But yeah, usually uh, from, from my experience, those attorneys, they'll, they'll all handle, you know, getting, getting the check sent off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to upload the final Alta or closing disclosure into SkySlope, uh, our transaction management software. Um, our same day deposits for listings only or both sides. Yeah, it doesn't matter which side you're representing there, that, that split check at closing can happen for either. Yeah. And, and what happens is EXP sends out a CDA, Commissions Disbursement Authorization Form, <clears throat> a day or two prior to the closing because you're uploading all the contact information, including the attorneys. So what EXP does, they send out the CDA and it goes to you and to the attorney. So it shows you a complete breakdown of what's going to EXP, what's going to you, how much stock money for stock is being taken out and things like that. So you know exactly what you're getting paid. And uh, the one cool thing, and I, I feel bad telling you guys this, who are not in the state of North Carolina, but we're a split state, check state, which means I can go to the closing and uh, they, I can get paid right at the closing. The closing makes a check out to me and one to EXP. But uh, most states are single check states, meaning um, the check goes right to EXP. But once you upload a copy of that check in the Ulta um, to EXP, once that closing is done into your sky slope, that money be transported uh, um, right to your account within 24 hours. And Bob, I saw you had a question. Did you, you got a question? Yeah, my question had to do with um, the, the, can that, that uh, 80 20 ever change? And the, the question is could I do a 50 50 and to get to my cap sooner, or does it stay the 80 20? Because I'm with an organization that I can write my cap at the, you know, the first week of the, the year and, um, and then just go from there for the rest of the time, you know? Yeah, no, but, they, uh, they don't allow that. A lot of people, you know, we brought over Jay Kinder and, and, and uh, Tom Daves and all these, these, these nationally known people. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of them asked the same thing. And a lot of people said, Hey, if I come on over, basically, what are you going to do for me? EXP? I want, I want to, I want a stock package. I want this or that. And, and Glenn Samper's response is always, well, it's not what we're going to, you, you can do for us. It's what we can do for you. Right. So, so that's the thing that I really, really like about EXP. Any company that I've ever been with in the past, in the past, they've always had back, back room deals, right? Uh, people got better leads. People got a better split. Everybody's the same here. So there, there is nothing like that. You come over 80, 20, once the company earns $16,000 off of you, I, I cap in about seven weeks. So, and I'm not a huge agent. I'm really not. So, so, and I'm by myself. So you can, you can cap pretty quickly here at EXP if you're selling homes. Hey, Tom, can I yes. say something, please? Please. Hey, Tom, um, so this goes back to the person who asked the question about um, the referral um, agent situation. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong, um, I believe Rich addressed this particular um, uh, point probably two or three weeks ago in the meeting. And I believe he stated, well, I know he stated, in the past, um, if you were out of production just doing referrals, you had to pay a monthly fee in the past, but EXP, uh, and I don't know when, and he didn't say when, uh, lifted that um, fee requirement. Yes, yeah, so what, what you're referring to is there There did used to be a uh, like a $250, $250 fee if you were only participating and, and let's let's be careful about this word referrals here right because this can mean a couple of different things a couple of different people right um, right so uh, you're referring to agent attraction if you are over here you are not producing uh what they call the minimum you know threshold there which is 5,000 gci every six months not a huge threshold to hit but if you're not hitting that you're not in production at all there used to be a fee that you would pay in order to be here and, and still be able to participate in the other parts of the company like like revenue share agent attraction um now with referrals if you're a referral only agent in the sense 
sense of, hey, I don't do any personal production. I generate leads. I have relationships. I've built a business in the past, whatever the case may be. And I'm sending out outbound referrals for another agent somewhere to represent clients. That's completely different. You're still on the same compensation structure that we covered today on that one. Right. Thank you for breaking that down. I think that helps a lot of us. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, some people refer to agent attraction as referrals because that's essentially what it is, right? You're getting paid a referral fee, you know, for bringing an agent over here. It's just, you don't get paid on one closing. You get paid on every closing that they do up until they cap every single year. Cause it's always going to reset and it's not paid out of their commission. It's a referral fee from the company itself um, as a, as a thank you for, you know, helping, helping this company grow, which I just, I don't see happening. And really it's, it, you know, we talked about the, the opportunities with revenue share and building income and wealth and all this great stuff. And yes, the money's great. But, you know, Tom brought up an amazing point. What would $500 a month do, you know, for you or, or for the average real estate agent out there? You know, what, what would, what would a thousand dollars a month do? Does that cover your, your car payment? Does that cover your housing expense for the month? Is that something that can be there when everything else is tight and an emergency happens? You know, so we're literally changing lives with this and, and the opportunity to do that is, is something special. And I think a lot of agents resonate with that. Cause I think that's why a lot of people are in real estate is to you know help change lives in, in the sense of you're representing somebody on the largest transaction they're going to do in their life. Now we have the ability to help change other professionals lives and their families' lives. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge blessing to be a part of this company. That's all I can say. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, really, if you want to break it down, if you can attract, you know, over the course of a year or a lifetime, whatever it might be, if you can attract six agents to this company who are capping agents who are doing minimum is $2.7 million a year, that's $16,800 a year. First of all, what does that do? That alleviates your $16,000 cap, right? So there, just in that alone, you get your $16,000 back plus $800. Then you break it down. That's an extra passive income of $1,400 a month. I mean, think about that $1,400 a month. All you did is attract <clears throat> five people to a company. If you, if, you're, if you have a landscaper that you absolutely love or a hairdresser that you absolutely love, don't you, don't you refer them? This is no different. All you're doing is showing somebody a better way to do business. And, and, and no longer do you have to be geographically confined to, to within a 10-mile radius of that office or whatever. You can do it anywhere. You can work anywhere in this, in this, in this platform because our, our office is in the cloud. Yep. And, and one thing we didn't mention here on this call is we have a partnership with a company called Regis, R-E-G-U-S. Go Google Regis in your city because in the major markets all across the world, there's a Regis office over, I think, two, 3,000 locations that as an EXP agent, we can walk into. We can get the coffee, the Wi-Fi, a professional place to work, to, to meet clients. Um, I, I know just here in Charlotte area, we've got, you know, I think it, over 10 different Regis offices that I can yep. I can pop into and use at any given time. Um, so th that's something that you have in addition to the the cloud office too. And then Monica, I see you asking about uh, referral fees. Is that, you know, our referrals, number one, are they required to be kept with an EXP or can you give them to someone else? Absolutely not. You can give them to whoever you want to. I just brought up that, hey, if you if you keep them in the company, obviously we're all winning together as as owners in the company, right? Because we're, we're adding revenue, we're keeping revenue inside the company. And then how does the fee work? Well, that's up to you and that agent that you're referring the deal to. You guys would decide what that split that yes, yeah, clearly between be. the two of you. It's b between the two of you. EXP is removed from that decision making process. If they want thirty percent, you want to do twenty five percent or whatever, and you can settle at twenty seven percent. It's up to you guys. There's no problem with that at all. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay. If not, you know, I, I really <clears throat> strongly suggest you go back to the person who who invited you to this call. And, um, and, and talk to them a little bit more and, and ask them for a guest pass. They can share a guest pass with you to go into the cloud office, create an avatar and see what the cloud office is like. And they can also send you a join EXP link. That link does not alert the company that you're currently with or anybody else. It's between you and EXP. And you can find out everything that's going on and you can check out the cloud office and all that fun stuff. And, um, and, and if we're doing this every single Wednesday at 10 o'clock. So if anybody has questions, reach out to your sponsor or us or anybody with NEXP and we're all glad to help you. Yeah, thank right. you so much for, for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, just just a, a guy out here in Lake Norman trying to uh, to live up to, to, to the legend, Mr. Rich Tomasini this, this week here. So I appreciate you guys having me. I appreciate you guys spending your time with us this morning. Thank you all. Trey, Thanks, great guys. job. I appreciate Good it. Job. Nikia, thank you. Thanks, Trey. You did an amazing job, and we will invite you back anytime. So just feel free to come on back. <laughs> I will. I will definitely. Thank you. Oh my All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Stay blessed. Thanks, guys.